Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about tyranny. So today's clip of tyranny is from Chicago. It is by our good friend Lori Lightfoot. This demon-faced, black-hearted woman has never met a dictatorial policy she didn't love with her hate-filled soul. This particular clip comes where she is on an interview with MSNBC. In this interview, as you can see, she's asked about vaccine mandates. Would you support vaccine mandates? Well, look, I always think it's better to educate people into compliance if we can, but we can't live in a world where only certain people are taking the vaccine and some are, are opting out. That won't help anybody and that will mm -hmm. perpetuate the spread of this incredibly deadly virus. So we're looking at a range of options, but our first um, choice, obviously, is educating people into compliance, demonstrating to them the safety of the vaccine. I will take the vaccine, as will my leadership team, and mm -hmm. we're encouraging people of good uh, will and faith across the across the, the city to do the same. And I think once we see that trend and influencers, whether it's um, local elected officials, right. whether it's local stakeholders, people in the faith community, we'll see the trend turn in the right direction. Her first response is, I think it's better to educate people into compliance. To educate people into compliance. Think about what that means, just for a second. What that means is, do what I say or else. I don't know if you caught the subtext there, but that's what it means. The time to stop complying with all of this stuff is now. Manda vaccine mandates, if you can even think that's a thing, are coming. If you don't think they're coming, you, you can wake up. This is not about stopping a virus. COVID-19 has a 99% survival rate. That's been pretty clear for a long time now. This is no longer about making sure everybody's safe, if it ever was that. This is no longer about public health. This is about control and doing what they say. We've let them get away with shutting down businesses. We've let them get away with putting, making us all wear masks. We've let them get away with a lot of things. And now is the time to stop complying. Because if you don't, the next thing that's going to come down the pipe is you, they are going to force some kind of substance into your system. I can't think of anything more invasive than the government uh, being allowed to inject you with something. Whether or not you know what it is, whether or not it's even a safe thing. Even let's just say, let's say hypothetically speaking, that the coronavirus vaccine is 100% safe, there's zero side effects, it absolutely cures us of coronavirus. Even if that were the case, a vaccine mandate is a horrendous idea. It violates at least three of your civil rights. Beyond that, what do you think is going to be in the next one or the one after that? It is not always the first loss and passage of something against your civil rights that's the problem. It might be several steps down the line. And if we were to set a precedent now that the government is allowed to inject you with whatever they want, whenever they want, where do you think that's going to go? This is very similar to, to what the Nazis did, right? Or the Japanese in World War II, uh, forced sterilizations, uh, kind of deep medical experiments, right? This is what happened. If you don't think that this is possible here in America, I don't know where you've been for the last 12 months. Uh, th this is where things are going to go next. Okay, I can guarantee that. If you want to avoid that, the time to stop complying with all the garbage, to pretend to wear your mask in public even though you know it doesn't do anything, is right now. My wife and I were in a furniture store recently and she, they asked us to wear a mask and my wife said that we conscientiously object and asked if we could still do business there. They backed off of it, we did business, moved on with our day. The time to stop playing the game of compliance is now. These people are going to keep coming and coming and coming for your rights and your liberties and your life and your happiness. The entire time they're doing that, they're not going to play by the rules they don't like. Lori Lightfoot, who's on this tape, was caught getting her hair done when she had shut down all of the salons in the city of Chicago. When she got asked about it, she said, oh, that she's a public figure and she takes her hygiene seriously. And so, you know, she needs to do that. 
The hypocrisy will never stop because they think they're better than you. They think that because they make rules, you have to follow them. And they think that because they're the ones who make the rules, they don't have to follow them. Rules for thee and not for me. Or another version being might makes right. I have a feeling that this is gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. And I'm not exactly excited about where that's gonna go or how that's gonna go. But if we want to try to avoid that problem down the road, then we need to start taking steps today, right now, to avoid that. In China, they have execution vans. I don't know if you know this, I don't know too much about it, but basically a van will pick you up, you can say goodbye to everybody, and, and then that's it. I'm not sure if they actually execute you in the van or if they take you to a different place to execute you. Either way, not a fun concept. We're pretty close to vaccination vans, okay? They're gonna roll up to your house. They're gonna say, ask you to show them your papers. By the way, you know, everybody says that Trump's the Nazi, Trump's the Nazi, but the Democrats are gonna be the ones who are gonna ask me to show my papers. Where are your papers? Which is the quintessential Nazi thing to do, right? Where's your documentation? Where's your, where's your letter that says you're approved? Where's your mark of the beast? That, that's where this is going. So they're gonna ask you to show your papers and if you don't have them, maybe they'll just drag you out of your house and vaccinate you right there. Maybe they'll handcuff you in your house and vaccinate you right there. I don't know, but I don't like the idea of being forced by the government to have some kind of substance injected into my body. There's a lot of horrible places that can go. It, it, has nobody ever read like a dystopian novel ever? Like, I mean, I know it's a meme, but 1984 wasn't an instruction manual. Like, that's for real. Has nobody actually read these works before? This is a time in America where we need brave men and we need brave women and we need people to stop complying with the nonsense. If you give them an inch, they're gonna take a mile. You've gotta find your line in the sand and you've gotta draw it. And you've gotta start saying here and no further because they're gonna keep coming until you don't have any freedoms left. Brave men and women built this country at the risk of their lives, at the risk of their fortunes, at the risk of their families, at the risk of everything. They built this country. We need brave men and women again if we have any hope of progressing as a nation.